Hello folks, welcome to Sunday and we're back on the Citadel Minecraft server. My name is Joel Duggan. This is a four-year-old server where we've been building this medieval town in Minecraft for, wow, a little over a year. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a breather today uh, for the first part of the stream. We're going to go uh, check out the 118 zone that we've created on the server. Uh, and so I'm going to pack, um, originally I was going to go and build there kind of like, I don't know, without many things but I, I just i don't feel the desire to do that so i'm gonna grab some food i'm gonna grab some rockets i'm gonna bring two stacks of rockets actually i should just put this in my ender chest and we'll bring a bunch of stuff because i think the cosmic has already built there at least a little bit i want some cobble and what else do we think we're going to need? Oh, moss. Yeah, I'm going to bring that. And I want to bring that. Bring that. Trying to think about what other things we might want. Maybe we'll put that in the box too. I don't think we're going to build much, but I, I want to take a look around and see what's up. Maybe we'll bring that too. I can't imagine we'll need dirt and grass. Anyway, I think that's probably good. So, I'm going to bring this with us. Got food, all the things. I think we're good. So, when we come back, uh, I have some ideas for this build. We're going to have to adjust, I think, the front here, but uh, I do have some thoughts what we can do there so we'll come back to that but i thought it would be a good opportunity we set up this area like a week or two ago and um we've been talking about it on the discord between the folks on the server but i really haven't taken any time to go look at it here on stream so i thought that was what we'd start off with cosmic built a teeny house but she wants to go add a garden to it okay cool Hey, Dang Rice, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. For anybody that uses the OK Zoomer um, mod, which adds zooming function to sodium, uh, to fabric, uh, I tried to update to the latest version. I updated a bunch of my mods today, and um, the game crashed. And it turns out by process of elimination that it was the OK Zoomer um update that was causing the problem so if you try to update and you've got issues then try downgrading your ok zoomer mod i try to keep my mods up like updated about once a month maybe but i don't always get there i say mods they're very light quality of life mods on the server we've got the map the zoom key and i think that's about it I don't know if I've showed this off on stream before, but the zoom key has got like a increase zoom button. I think I've got it mapped to my mouse wheel. So like if I, if I zoom in, I can then like zoom in farther or zoom out. Pretty cool. It's handy for building and like pointing at stuff like that tree, you know? Ultra Dragon Ninja. 
That is, um, you can't argue with that Twitch handle. Welcome in. So I don't exactly know what we're going to be looking for in the new world or in the new area. Um, for those of you that don't know, rather than starting over new all the time and rather than um, dealing with constantly having to find new spaces to build, we've created fast travel on the server with command blocks. So where we are right now is 10,000 blocks away from spawn. So if you look at my F3 screen, you see that we're at negative 8900 and negative 9700 and if i press this button it takes us back to here and now we're at 6177 so we travel about roughly 10,000 blocks to come back here and this is the center of the world so this is world center um not vertically but it's it's x and z it's the center We've got the portal to the modern city down there. We've got two portals to the uh, medieval area, which is where I just was. They are over here. I say portals. It's RP. There's buttons there that you press. But there's that's the portal we just came out of. There's another portal to a different area of the medieval uh, zone. That's like south. This is north. And then over there, we've got one that goes to the 118 area, which is another like... 20,000 blocks away. So we've got no worries about anything um, kind of bordering this zone. We should be, should be A-OK. -okay. I also didn't bring a bed. It's dangerous to go alone. Take stuff from here, says Cosmic. Aha. Bed things. Maybe that's what we'll do. I don't think I had a bed. I don't think I had a bed to bring with me. It was probably in the um in the shack. I'll leave this for somebody if they want it. Now we have a bed. My bow's almost done. That's the portal back. This is temporary. I kind of threw this up just before we started this area. So welcome to the mountains, the 118 area for the citadel. Check the Discord channel for goings on, and then use the temporary portal to return to the World Hub. So that takes us back to where we just were, back to the World Hub. It looks like Cosmic has already built a house. But this is the view, which I think is pretty cool. So there's a, a bed here, we can set our spawn. Cosmic has been busy, she's got all kinds of goodies. She's got this little cottage set up. Right on. So there's a village nearby as well. It's a little wonky. But what I was thinking is that we might develop this in the same way that we developed Dartmouth Meadows. Everybody's going to try to build close by to one another. And we've got some cool like biomes there's snow like right nearby there's like a rocky shore so we might be able to put in some sort of like dock or shipyard or something down there and then have a path lead up the hill and the whole walk up the hill you'd be looking at these mountains which is going to be pretty cool i think that was powdered snow that i just fell in it was i don't know that i've ever picked up powdered snow on the citadel You not? I guess you. Oh, you need a bucket, right? That's what that is. Do I have my iron with me? Here we go. That's fun. So one thing we're going to try not to do is completely uh, mine out the landscape. We want to try and leave the hills and, and stuff like that in the mountains as, as, as they are. 
but there are opportunities to either smooth things out or create some cool builds like maybe maybe this is a good spot to build a house where you don't even have to build a basement you've got one built in you know but i'm thinking like this section right here could be cool Whoa. for paving i guess <laughs> uh, but like a path leading up this way would be pretty fun right And then once you get over the hill here, kind of turn it this way, or maybe we go around. Yeah, maybe over here would be good because then you can see the mountains the whole way. And curve it up. I like the idea of walking towards like builds on the hill, but then having the mountains in the background. That could be kind of fun. And really, it's all going to be up to the to the crew on the server and what they build where but i like where cosmic started a good spot add that to the spy class and it would be miles yeah the okay zoomer yeah you can control how far it goes there's settings in the mod that allow you to um that allow you to change like how how far it zooms in which is cool. So you can see the village right up there. And unfortunately, so the mountains look good from afar, but this one at the front, combined with the village, has got some weird sort of like trappings in it in terms of just some holes in the mountain and some weird sort of like things get cut off. But I don't know, maybe we could expand the village to be inside the mountain. Even the mountain is super deep. There's dripstone down there. We've not dug down back at Spawn and Dartmouth Meadows, which is where everybody built back like four years ago. So there could be cool stuff underneath Dartmouth Meadows as well. It's funny, my modded brain where I'm playing a new series is um, I keep on wanting to mine the iron when I just, I totally don't need to on the Citadel. <laughs> Got tons. <laughs> don't need to pick it up. No, no. That's why I brought my Elytra. So part of this is kind of fun in that we are all end game. Many of us have Elytra. So being able to fly through the mountain is kind of cool, right? There are some benefits to having a hollow mountain like that. So one of the things I thought was neat about this area when I chose it uh, after Cosmic found it uh, was that it has a lot of potential for a bunch of different gameplay for people that are interested. Uh, I haven't seen any villagers though. I don't know where all the villagers are. So it could be just that they're not here. I don't know. Cosmic lives here now. Okay, that's Cosmic Space. Cosmic, do you remember seeing any villagers when you were here? I'd imagine with these caves, there's probably just a lot of bad guys that spawn. There's a there's a iron golem, so there's obviously Oh, there they all are. Three of them over there. I feel like we should try to protect them. Because we are miles from anything. I kind of wonder whether we should just put like a temporary wall up or something. So he's a leather worker. All three of them are leather workers. I wonder if we should maybe lock them in the house or build a wall up or something. That's why I brought this. Oh, 
Oops, let's not go there. Get in there so I can lock you in there. some beds there's no bed we'll steal another villager bed to throw in there as well we'll leave this here One. I don't think I've seen these two-story houses yet it's cool I've not really been exploring for villages. We've won into one or two, but it's not been a big, big thing. Give you a bed and there we go. Feel like we might have to just do that. They should be good. Yeah, lots of, lots of ways all the way down to the bottom of the world, which is cool. So I figured rather than creating, it's hard to say, like, we could do deep slate mining back at Dartmouth Meadows, which would make sense because then while we're there, we'd be loading all the early farms and replenishing things like the creeper farm and the sugarcane farm. Um, but then we could also just go with the flow of one, 118 up here and do like deep slate mining where we don't have to dig at all. You know, potentially we could just cave down to the bottom. But around the corner here, there's this really cool valley that goes between the two mountains. So there's potential to build all kinds of stuff through here. And we don't really have a theme for this area. It's more of a, you know, what I like to call like Minecraft theme, where people just kind of build what they want to build, mindful of the surroundings and, and their neighbors. Try, like, don't build a rocket ship here is what I'm saying. Like, do, like, kind of go with the flow, what the group is discussing. But, like, I'd love the idea of building a house up there or, I don't know, like, just on one hand, like, if you build it up there, then you can't see the scenery. But it's very pretty. I'm glad I brought my rockets. I mean, you could also build yourself a little ice tower up here. I don't know. It's very fun. And somewhere around here, there's a really big dripstone cave. So spoilers for any of my server mates that are watching. I think this is it here. Or one of them. Yeah, like this is massive. Oh. And very hard to see. Very hard to see, but this is huge. Might be better to fly around with night vision or something. But that that's that's a giant cavern for anybody that wants to mess around with dripstone. And then there's like this cool little I'm not sure what you want to call it. Almost like a caldera. If you look on the map, there's like this little area right here in the middle. So we were just flying through there. Uh, and then there's this little area in the middle here, same thing, but it's like a, it's like a tiered dripstone cave, which is neat. There's like one level up there. So, I mean, it's not, it's kind of a janky execution, but given that the landscape has provided you the idea, like you could create, you could make a couple of pools, you know, you can make another pool there. You could have another pool. You could open up this and have more waterfalls. You know, like maybe this isn't here. Maybe you move move that waterfall up there and have stuff trickle down. So there's some cool landscaping stuff. Most of what I've been getting in my head from watching this has been, or not watching this, from like flying around this area has has been landscaping ideas. You know, like connecting this up so like it looks like a river, maybe having some snow melt come down, that kind of stuff.
Oh, having an Elytra at endgame for 118 has been fantastic. It's definitely game changing. Then we've got, like, I've never built in the snowy biome on the Citadel. We've always been in just, like, regular taiga or plains biomes. So there's lots of really fun, fun opportunities. Oh, that's powdered snow. Am I going to die? That's tricky. And there's a dark oak forest nearby, so there's lots of good wood and stuff. We decided that if we do anything like start to log the area or clear, not clear cut it, but if we start to remove trees, we want to either replant or um, make it look like a logging situation, right? That could be fun. I think this is where I want to build. Yeah. I'll put my bed down here in a second. Yeah, the only time leather boots are useful. Right now I'm wearing netherite boots because I jump off of stuff so often and hurt my ankles. But I think this is where... Yeah, so this is the first time we've ever seen a lush cave. On the citadel. Oh, and it's full of creepers. Darn it. I forgot that the last time I was here, I wasn't playing in survival. I think I have a shield. Torches. So this is really cool. There's an entrance over there. There's this back entrance here. What I like about it is that it's got ice. So like you're in a frozen area up here so this is um oh that's a screenshot mm -mm -mm. where are we why can i never find these things when i'm looking for them i'm so used to being spoiled by the um the map mod I'm sure I'm looking right at it. Grove. And grove. And then it switches, I think, to Dark Oak Forest. Yeah. So there's a grove, but because of the altitude, there's snow, which is cool. And then... And then it's got all these cool tiered um, pools with the lush cave. And if memory serves, this just kind of goes down and down and down. Lots of really cool things. There was one spot in particular that I thought looked really cool when I was searching it out. I think it was like yeah, sort of like underneath me. So this kind of goes... Let's see if I can fly over here without bashing my face.
Nope. So it goes underneath this. Right? So there's these caves that go and twist and turn around. So I kind of want to live here in in this area. Oh, are you stuck? Let me help. Bye. Ooh, emerald ore. And we've got like a vertical exit there. Like there's all kinds of really cool ways that we could take all the four-year-old server endgame gameplay and apply it to this this spot. Like there's even entrances over this way. I don't want to die. Yeah, like stuff like this. Really cool. Currently deadly because it needs to be lit up. Like, how fun is this? So yeah, I think I'm sticking my flag in the sand. This is where I, where I want to live and develop and build and stuff. And we'll see if anybody else wants to come in and and help out. But I'm gonna try and create like a little be fun to have like a path or something because we could connect back to the main area which goes by this really cool little waterfall again not perfect but we could make it look fun could do some fun landscaping i think it's the landscaping bug has bitten me with 118 that's kind of what i want to do is take take it you know features like this is a perfect spot for a road. Who doesn't want to look, look at this when you're walking along a Minecraft road, right? And I've kind of known on the server as being like the road guy. So we could do some fun path work along here. And then somewhere there's going to be an opportunity to tie it back down. I guess maybe... Maybe here would be the spot where we would bring it down to... To connect with the rest of the builds. Faze McDonald, hello, welcome in. Thanks for listening to the Spawn Chunks. There's also these these big fissures along here as well. And they could just be opportunities to create um, cool bridges to go over them. I like the idea of having like a couple bridges that span this, you know. And that, of course, leads into mine. Is this a flame bow? It is, but we don't have Optifine, so we're not going to be able to really see any anything lit up. But you can sort of see... I wonder if I tried... The brightness settings. Um, we're at 30. Let's just go up to 100. So you can see a lot more. Like, there's a giant pool there. There's um waterfall there. Big flat bottom. And it looks like more... No, it's not dripstone at all. This might not connect to the other cave. This might be just up, up front. I thought it might connect to this one, but it looks like this is its own thing. This might connect underneath the village. That might be where that connects from. Anyway, some really cool stuff. Um, and we don't have to f travel far to find opportunities to explore 118, which is nice. So I think what I'll do is uh, I'll put down some torches. And maybe map out a road, something. See if that makes sense. My daughter and I have been listening to the Spawn Chucks on our drive to school every morning. It's been very enjoyable. That's great. Thanks very much. Really appreciate that, Rachel.
Yeah, the thing about the spawn chunks and being behind is that you can always just listen to the latest and then go back and listen to the other ones. They're really, it's not sequential in any way. Every now and again, we have an email response to the previous episode, but most of the time it's all, um, it's all news based. <laughs> when there is news, there hasn't been a lot. Although this week, uh, Slice Lime is going to be on the show. Hello, horse. Oh, I've got a carrot in my hand. I was like, why is this horse following me? So I don't have a ton of torches, but I do have my ender chest with me. Oh, don't have a lot of torches in there either. And we could always make some. So I think it was along here, I think. Yeah, I had to switch from using Optifine to f um, sodium for fabric. And um, because of that, my connected glass doesn't work. And I haven't found a connected glass mod for fabric that I like. Yeah, I feel like we could probably do a road I don't think I'd want to make the road up here, or do we? What do we think? This, this level for the road, or down here? The difference of about seven blocks, maybe eight. I kind of like up here, closer to the mountain. What I like about that is that we can then kind of like go down a couple steps and create like a bridge here. Yeah, I think probably. Probably here is good. This is probably where we have to think about turning it. That's pretty good because it points like right at the, there's the portal where you come in. Kind of a straight road. We might want to have that curve a little bit. Yes, I'm doing this at night on purpose so I can see where I need to put lights. Oh, and then it becomes very steep. Maybe, maybe we curve it. Let's sleep so I can see the mountains clearly. If we curve it here, what does that look like if we're coming up? Oh, you can't see them at all. So it's definitely more of a view coming back. It is going forward. Although you get to see that that mountain. And mountains pat mountain passes they have to wind. Otherwise you'd never, never be able to do it. Maybe we twist it around. It goes back this way. That could be cool because then if you're coming up here, you'll see that. There will be some sort of like smoothing to the landscape, I think at some point. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. And then it smooths out again here. Oops, that's my bed. Don't know if we're going to be able to see that on the map. Not until we light it up. I can sort of see it, but we'll have to wait until nighttime to get a good look at it. So that's a decent start. Cosmic, was this where you wanted things to like focus? Was this the center of town or was this a temporary build? I wasn't sure. Uh, what's the road leading to and from? Let me show you. Well, let's, let's walk it. That way we'll have a better feel for the path. So um, going uphill, of course, get a nice view of the mountains. Then we have to meander because it gets too steep. See some bees. We'll try to make this not quite as steep. I think maybe this has to go over here. So curve around the corner. I've done a lot of these paths in other parts of the of the um the server. And then this just kind of curves along here. And we can make this more interesting. It's not gonna be quite a straight line. We can probably pull these up here. And I try not to break anything if I can. Like I'm trying not to disrupt the landscape too much. I want to try to nestle this path up here. Nice mountain in the view going that way. A spider? No. Oh, and then I guess we'll need another one of these here. Down this way. And then I think what we'll do here is we'll indicate that we want to do like a bridge. So... Probably from this level. Just like temporary, let's build a bridge here. No clue. Fun angled build. And gives you a place to look at the waterfall when you go by. I need more cobblestone. Oh, I have some. So this is one of my favorite things about Minecraft, just like walking around an area and kind of getting a feel for what's fun and what you could do to try and um, accent the world. I mean, and we could go ahead and like decorate this with like bigger pool, maybe add some fish, have this and have another waterfall come down. Like we could do all kinds of really fun stuff here. Reminds me of Dartmouth Meadows. Now, uh, what is the best path through here? I would say we just build this hill out a little bit. We'll have to make a path. That's fine. I think probably through here. Now, where's the entrance? I like the idea of going in these trees. That's fun. So I think the entrance is right up here. Oh, maybe not.
So we might have a little bit more, more of a, a trek to go. That's fine. I like the idea of creating something fun for people to walk around if they want to come visit. Yeah, this is the front. So, where's the back? Okay, so the entrance is way over here. That's assuming that this is the entrance we want to use. So we'd want to come around the side of the mountain, I guess, through here. Again, we can reshape all of this. Access. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> There's no audio in the game. Actually, hold on. Uh, options, video settings. Uh, turn these on. I don't like that I've, I can't change the settings on um, on the shaders. I can't turn off the wavy stuff. That's a fun little image. I bet if we wait a second, the sunbeam looks like it's moving. We might be able to catch them in the sun. It's immersion, it's okay, yeah. RP, right? Not very often you're going to catch me RPing in Minecraft, but every now and again. Oh, it looks like it's going to go away before it gets to them. Oh, maybe not. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's a squirrel going absolutely nuts in my backyard. Uh, I noticed um, there was a hawk in my backyard earlier today. And uh, saw him, he flew away, and then I saw him again having breakfast. I don't know whether the squirrel lost a friend, <laughs> but when there's crows and hawks around, the squirrels tend to be really noisy. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to catch them again. Still, that was a fun, fun screenshot. I wonder how laggy this is going to be with me running around here with shaders on. Oh, I was almost there. I was almost there with the, the path. Okay. I know where to go. We probably have to remove a couple of trees. I'll just have to remember to stay left. What I'll do perhaps is um, I'll stick one of these right here to know that I have to go that way. I've got to go make some more torches. Well, I like the idea of... Um, Of having to not having to walk but like having a path that if players want to get themselves oriented i know that some of the people on the server have trouble with directions and trying to figure out where they are so having decent landmarks and stuff like that and getting to know an area i think is, in, is important Rolf, you have never played survival. You're going to try for the first time tomorrow. Well, good luck. If you want, if you want an easier go, try to find a village. There's food. There's uh, places to sleep and shut the door. Um, barring that, if you don't have a bed the first couple of nights, just dig yourself into a wall, like dig yourself into a, into the side of a cavern and um, mine for 10 minutes. And then when the sun comes back out, you can go back outside and then you've got all kinds of cool stuff. So you can see it's um, adding this curve is probably pretty good. And then we've got this meander that goes down the steep part. And then there's a little bridge there. And it looks like the entrance is probably around here maybe so we don't have too much farther to go um that'll be a fun stream to come back here and um come back here and and put the path in you know 
I think I'm going to walk this at night, I guess. I've got a bad habit of running everywhere in Minecraft. But yeah, I think once this is a road, and I think a cool thing to do here would be like moss, moss brick, mossy cobble, moss carpet. Like really make it look like it's been here a while. Could be kind of fun. No particular style, just generally. You know, generally make it look like it's an old road. Like that you'll be able to see the path from the path. That's always a great way to create some interest in walking around. Some holes to fill in. And then we're back here again. Yeah, tough would be a good one. Tough would be a good one. Oh, I hear a zombie. And there's monsters nearby. What if I do it back here? Fine. Realizing I still have shaders on. Yeah, tough is a good block for stuff like that. Cool. Well, that was a decent, um, a decent tour of the area. There's lots of cool places. That huge dripstone cave on the other side of this mountain is really fun. I do find with these shaders that the um, that the water doesn't look as dramatic. Like it's really hard to see the water. I prefer. I do have another shader pack. It's um, I like this one. It's default. So it's subtle. You do get shadows, but water is, well, no, see, I can't get into the options to change the water. At least it's blue. It still has the Minecraft texture on it. What was the other one that I liked? Not Prismarine, although that one's cool. Maybe it's the default version 11. I wonder if my settings are still applied to this one. Yeah, so the water in this one looks a little bit more normal. But you can see there are shadows. So it's a really subtle texture pack, which I like. Still, unfortunately, I get some frame setters when I play with shaders, but or if I stream with shaders, especially the complicated ones for nice screenshots. But this is a fun, fun gameplay. So before we go back, I'll give you all an overview. That's the area right now, the new 118 area. I didn't see anything special in the ocean, but there's a whole mountain here, great big mountain there, this valley. Which is really fun. This is kind of an aggressive looking frozen top to a mountain, complete with goats. And then down the other side, we've got that um, dripstone cave. Well, that's the second one, that's the second dripstone cave. Then it gets into this huge birch forest. And then where we want to set up and play, or where I want to set up and play, is in this lush cave. Which looks really cool.
Lots of fun to be had down here. And there's dark oak and snow and all kinds of fun stuff. I think I saw an ocean ruin. But nothing crazy cool like an ocean monument or anything like that that I've seen. I'm sure they're nearby. But it's easy to get turned around. Like, I flew right by. I thought, I, I thought the portal was around the corner, but it's actually back here. So many trees. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a really cool wooded area. There's really... There's not much for planes. Like, we've got planes over here, and we've got planes right here. But then, like, there's hardly any planes biomes. It looks like there might be one over this way. But, like, it's all forest. It's really cool. And there's all kinds of ice up here. And there's another portal over there, uh, which I haven't actually looked at. So I don't know what the nether is like here. Um, and we don't have to set it up there. We might want to set the nether portal up somewhere closer to the village, or I don't know what might be good about that. Um, or we could put nether portals up here. The nice thing about this is that I think this stuff is all far enough apart that I could put another portal in here and another portal here, and we should be fine. But this idea here with the path, I kind of like this flat area seems like a good place to kind of set up for a town. So this area down here might be fun to set up for people to live here. Because, I mean, really, how can you argue with, you know, if this was the main center of where everybody was living and they had houses like up against the hills and up against the trees, you know? And not building like crazy tall stuff, but like keeping it low. It'd be kind of fun. All right. So let's head back. Uh, I do have some plans for the Citadel, um, the West Hill build. So you'll see that pops us right back here. And then we have to fly. Where is the main thing? That's the light blue portal. Oh, there it is, there. Aha. Cool. Yeah, I'm still getting some frame skips. I'm not sure if you're seeing those on, on Twitch, but... Sometimes it's fun to try and play with the shaders. I don't know what particular day, you know, what background processes that I try to stop um, seem to affect me playing and streaming with shaders. I'd love to play with shaders all the time. You'd think that my computer would be capable of running very basic shaders like this without causing me too much issue. But I find that once I start building and moving around quickly in areas, it gets it gets choppy for me. Just walking is fine. Not doing much. But having a path like this, maybe not a dirt path, but like a finished, kind of decorated, but meant to look wild path in that 118 area, um, maybe with more stone and a little bit more finished polish to it, um, especially now that we have moss and moss carpet and azalea bushes and stuff. We can do all kinds of stuff like this, you know, all on there. That'd be fun. Simple palette. Play with some snow if we're up high enough. Shaders and resource pack combination. Why would that? I mean, resource packs don't really cause that much of an issue. It's just different textures. That shouldn't tax the computer at all. And sooner or later, we've got to decorate these roads. The problem with them is that they're ginormous. <laughs> uh, which shaders are these? These are... Silder's Enhanced Default Version 1.11. There is a 
one two out, but I found that they removed the ability to change some things, which drives me nuts. I'm not sure why you would remove settings in a new version, but in this one, I'm feeling like one of the reasons I liked it is because I could remove all of the wavy grasses and the wavy water. Water still has reflections, I think. Or maybe I've turned that off. But the water looks nicer, still has the Minecraft texture, but it's like translucent. I mean, one thing I really like about Iris and um, Sodium is that you can turn the shaders off like almost immediately. There's normal Minecraft. The water gets a little bit darker, probably because it's in, it's not in the sunlight, right? Like it's it's in the shadow of the hill. The angle of the sun is different in the pack or in the in this shader too. But like if I switch it to um, the version twelve. I don't really know what's different. I thought that this was one of the ones where the leaves were swaying. Maybe it's the water that, that wiggles. But I can feel this one feels chuggier. Like this is not as smooth as the other one. Yeah, so this is why I don't like the 12 is because it doesn't have the, it doesn't give me the ability to turn off the wavy water. You can still have the Minecraft texture, but the water still waves, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't look awful, but sometimes if you want, if it's not important to you and you want to increase your performance, it's better to be able to turn it off, but I don't think they give you the ability to turn it off. So if you can find it, I mean, or I can just send it to you, Cosmic. I think these actually might be up on the Citadel, um, on the Citadel uh, Google Drive. It's a great idea by the way folks if you're running a you're running a server with a couple of friends creating like a google drive uh document folder to like track all the different things and keep copies of data packs and stuff like that is great that way if anybody ever needs it they can just go grab it right so unfortunately as spoiled as i am walking around with shaders i don't think i'm going to be able to play with them i'll leave on the 11 just for now Yeah, better. Yeah, see, the frame rate's much better. Well, maybe not. But for me, it's not frame rate. It's frame stutter. That's always been my issue. Yeah. See, when there's a lot of stuff around, particles from campfires and entities and stuff, I get like a little... I'm not sure if you can see it, but when I go across like this, what happens to my screen, it looks, it looks like this. Like, it kind of shakes on my monitor and it's it'll give you a headache in 10 minutes so i don't recommend it don't don't push your luck with shaders if you can't have a smooth performance um but cosmic mentioned a few minutes ago that i'm overdue for a break and uh that's true if you're new to the channel i take a break about once an hour i step away for five or six minutes you should too grab a snack reheat your coffee you know do what it is that you want to do on a sunday get some foods and uh, we'll be back with some building and to tease what we're going to be working on i've got some reference for some new stuff that we're going to build in the town. So yeah, we'll be back in about five or six minutes.
right, we're back. Insane Intellect said that they just checked and 1.131, I'm assuming of the Silder's Enhanced Shaders says that there's a waving objects thing which lets you get rid of the different waving animations. Maybe it wasn't available in earlier versions. I That was in the settings, I think, for this version as well. I can't check it because they don't let you check it in Iris. Um, I wish there was a way. I tried installing, there's an Iris fork for sodium that lets you check the settings but it didn't work for me so i don't know what to tell you um but waving objects and waving water or water amplitude were separate settings um basically what happened was um all of these um settings for my shaders were things that i had already added to the zip files by using optifine And then brought them over. So I don't I don't know um how that goes. As of five days ago, you don't need the fork anymore. What version of Iris? Because I tried a bunch of stuff before the the before the stream and my fabric was crashing. I'm not seeing any way to do any options. And the mod 1.2. So I might not have the most recent. I could try it. I could try it on the next break, but chances are um, it was one of the things that was crashing my, my stream earlier. For my my client anyway um we are going to attempt to build the guard house or the captain of the guard i'm not sure what we're going to do but we've got this section here and you can see on the map it sort of creates like a, a little bit of a wrap around i don't know if these are going to stay this size they might end up getting bigger they might end up getting deeper I don't think I want them to come out any farther. I kind of like the way that they stick out now. They don't block the hill. That one might if it gets too tall. So we went, we're going to have to be conscious of of how tall this gets. I, th I don't think I want to cut off the edge of that mountain. I think I'd rather have the building be over here. So this one might change. Um, but what I like about this is the idea of adding like a second building and having some sort of courtyard. This might be too narrow. We might have to widen this. We might have to widen this. Iris 1.2 lets you configure shaders from the option menu in game. Drag and drop shader packs. Shader pack settings. I guess they probably have to be enabled. So if I enable default, shader pack settings. Oh, they changed that. I wonder when that, when did 1.2 come out in St. Indelec? That's great, because I'm going to change some stuff for my screenshots, because I don't like clouds. I don't like the poofy clouds in, um, let's see, I think it's this one that I like a lot. That one? I mean, that's the newer one. But if we do the shader pack settings and then we change, where is it? That's all lighting. Atmospherics. Clouds, vanilla, off. There we go. I don't like the shader clouds. I guess we could add vanilla clouds. 
Anyway, thanks. That'll help with the screenshots a lot. I wasn't seeing it because I was looking for it when the shaders were not applied. Simple. All right. So, like I said, we've got this um, this area here, and it also will affect the wall. This might have to come out a little bit, and that's going to change how the wall connects. And that's fine, because uh, last time we streamed from this, I missed my, missed my perch. Sorry for the crazy flying. How's that for landing? Although, not super useful. And you can sort of see it here. There's this weird little loop in the wall. Uh, and this kind of goes back. And I wouldn't mind if this was out maybe to about there. It would mean some adjusting, but I think it would be fine. Um, but it would it would mean a smoother line along here if this was a little bit farther. So we're going to try that. Uh, and what we're going to base it on are these. Now, I particularly like the one on... The far left. Uh, I like the way that that kind of feels. Um, it looks like it might be a good mesh between our main gate and then some of the more stony looks of the keep. So what I'm going to try to attempt to do is combine uh, this look right here with the keep what you're seeing kind of like in this design and kind of merge that with this design here with the bone blocks and the dark oak so our roof is probably going to be more dark oak which is fine because that matches the towers right all the towers have got dark oak on them i particularly like that one so um We'll do that. And then we'll try to make it kind of like a, a cross between this and something else. The only thing it's not going to have, it's not going to have a gate like the, the image. I can put up a little one. The image um, has like a door at the bottom. And that's not going to be out here. There's not going to be a way in over here. This is just going to be a straight wall. However, on the other side, over here, I think it could be fun to have either um, a little door, which could be in one of the buildings. It doesn't have to be in the middle. The middle could be fun, though. Um, and then on this one, you can see on both the bottom left image and the image that goes across the bottom, the four kind of rotational images, They've got this archway between the two sections. And so what I was thinking is that even though we have a courtyard here, we could end up with like a little courtyard in here in between the two buildings. So like this could be another thing here, right? Door there, door there, little courtyard here. Maybe bigger than this, you know, one, two, three, this is five. Maybe we'll make it seven wide. We'll have to mess around with it and see what looks the best. But it's all definitely going to be centered on the drawbridge and the center of this parade square. So that's the plan. Uh, we have to get some temporary building materials and map out some stuff. But I think, I think we've got a good idea of what we want to do. The Druid Gen. Hello, welcome in. All right, so we're going to put our ender chest down. Don't need to carry an extra bed, but I should probably put that somewhere as useful. Maybe a rocket box is probably good. I don't need two things of rockets. Cobblestone. 
picked up a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna definitely gonna need some cobble. Probably gonna bring some diorite just in case. Need to see something clearly. And we should probably bring some dark oak stairs and planks. And my guess is I'm gonna need some grass and some dirt. Hey, True Purple. Uh, yeah, everything from the images is on my Pinterest page. Um, I just looked for like medieval concept art uh, or um, I can't remember the other keyword I used. It wasn't like, it's like fantasy. Like if you do like fantasy houses and stuff, but look for art specifically uh, or a fun trick because some of these are not paintings. Some of these are like models, like they're photographs of, well, the... Top left is a is a concept painting. The top two on the right are CG, I think. Same with the bottom left. But the the bottom middle, the four across the bottom middle, uh, the white one, um, though that's a model. That that's like a physical like miniature, it's been painted, I think. Yeah, there's a bunch of vanilla tweaks and stuff in there. JDM. So, uh, I think I want to look at a couple of images. I do like the other what's it called, or what does it look like? It's the, the one on the bottom. Yeah, I like the archway. I like that the white one is nice. I'm just looking this up on my computer. Uh, right, that one. Looking at images, I don't have a very good image viewer on PC. I find it really tricky sometimes. Okay. So I think we're going to remove the step up. Think. Yeah, I don't think I want to step up in anything. And I think I want to make this just a little bit taller. Four tends to be my standard, but I feel like we might want to go five high with this. Oh, I do have scaffolding on me. Good stuff. Yeah, I feel like that gives us enough room to do something that feels a little bit grander than just a little door. Uh, this is obviously too small, so we'll push this back. I guess we might as well just start removing this now. We've got other examples of the wall. It's not like I'm going to have to reference this. But I feel like we're going to want to expand this to at least seven. So this is the middle here. Jeez, we might even want to go farther. I 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I feel like that's wide enough for a little courtyard. I don't think it's going to be super big. I'm also not sure if I'm going to recess it back quite that far. We may want to bring it forward a little bit. So if it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide, how does that feel if we make it narrower? You know, that's not the end of the world either. It might be better for us to go seven for now. Yeah. And then we'll start with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess that doesn't go there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be square, but that doesn't go out crazy far. I think it gives us a decent, decent place to start. It is quite the basement, Cosmic. I agree. I don't want to fall down there. <laughs> Do I have any other hobbies outside of gaming and podcasting, hiking, cooking? Um, not really. I don't have a lot of time. Don't have a lot of time. Rito Strike, hello. Good to see you. So I think the next thing we have to do is to get rid of the roof here. That's going to be kind of distracting to the silhouette that I want to start to make. So we'll just start to chop this down. We should probably just take this whole tower down to its its bare, bare bones, you know? Be nice to get some of this um, dark oak back too. Some of the stuff that's going to fall all the way down to the bottom is going to be a pain to go get. Whatever. Okay, take this away. So that little jump with the Elytra drop is something I've been doing in my modded playthrough without an elytra <laughs> and causing myself so much damage in the process <laughs> just you get you get end game brain when you play on a server for four years that has been end game since the end of the first six months and uh yeah it's uh hard to get yourself out of that right so i like the idea maybe we should start using a few blocks that we actually know we're going to be using uh i need a spare shulker and some other stuff So let's bring you and spare shulker. And one of the woods, specifically the log box. That one. And the spare bed. So 
I'm not going to be working on the actual um, parade square today, so I think what we'll do is just kind of maybe set up a little short and sweet combo here. Might not need anything from that just yet. I'm just thinking it'll be a lot clearer for me if I can make this out of bricks. Just for now. We may change it. It might be wood. I don't know. Hey, Alistair, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. The Druid Jen is eating pancakes. My name is Joel Duggan and I approve this breakfast. All right, so the idea was to have uh, the other buildings kind of like start in this position. I don't know if that's wide enough. I feel like we might want to knock, knock that back a little bit. We might want to give ourselves just a little bit more room in case we want to separate like the entranceway stonework from the wall. Yeah, I think I like that just a little bit better. And in one of the examples, they had cobblestone going really high, which I liked. course we've got the edges Two, three four five six now I've got no plans for these to be like a specific width as of yet we're just kind of messing around but the top levels on these tend to go out and go out a little bit wider in all of the examples. So we've got to make room for that. And in some cases that could be like a wood plank. This could even go up a little bit higher. And actually that would keep things in line with stuff like around here, they're really only like three blocks and then you get into this, the second level. So we could potentially have some sort of wood change. One, two, three, like here. Actually probably more like that. Nope, I had it right the first time.
right? So potentially we could have it go well, like that as well. And then the top would be a different color. And that's where we might be able to move in with some of the bone block. But I definitely want it to be asymmetrical. And because of my concerns for this view of the hill, I think the bigger section will be over here and the smaller section will be over here. And the smaller, the smaller end up might be, might end up being taller, but it, it's not going to be as come out as far. At least I don't think so. Do you have any overall plans for this side of town? I'm kind of just going with the flow. Um, I know that down around here, I want things to be nicer and all of these trees and stuff like that, we're not gonna cut them down, but I like the idea of like a house that takes up this space. We'll have to cut down some trees. Would then have some property, like a garden or, or like own some land with woods on it. And so we can maybe make that feel like a, a nicer piece of property. That could be kind of fun. We might have to make this larger, actually. Yeah, I might want to pull that smaller. The other concern I have is about height. Because I don't want it to be something that competes too much. Although, I mean, that's pretty high. So we've got, we can go all the way up to there. I mean, that's going to be what? Easily another eight or 10 blocks. And it's nowhere it's going to be, it's not going to be anywhere near those, those two heights. So should be okay. I don't really think it's going to be too much of an issue here. Cause no matter what, it's going to block the view of the keep. Like even with a roof on that now, it's still going to block the whole thing. So really whatever happens here is going to be a lot more decorative than in the background. So I'm not worried about the view from this road. If anything, it'll create a nice break in this giant dead wall of gray. What a nice, nice build here to mess around with. Yeah, the flower field is nice. Uh, it's like it's a sunflower plains, I think. Is we ended up we've taken a lot of them down actually. Got a lot of yellow dye. Right, so I feel like. I feel like this might be a little bit large. What does this look like if it's shorter? Five feels small. It could be okay. Um, gonna be over here. Do I want to go up a step? I don't think so. Uh, 
Alistair, were you around when I was doing the little spin around the 118 area earlier on the stream? Oh, I need more dirt. Oh, Cosmic and you took a, a stroll. Very cool. Not sure what happened to all the villagers. Um, I trapped three, so there are still some there. And enough to get a breeder going if we wanted to do that. Um, I don't know. We have to discuss, I guess, as a group as to whether or not we're going to keep the um, the village. You tried to block in a lot of the villagers, so maybe that's why I didn't see them. I didn't check in a lot of the houses. Yeah, there's a second village, and um, I found a really cool dripstone cave and a massive um, flesh cave that I want to live in. So this doesn't necessarily have to be a building that attaches or a part of this. We could make it a separate building. Um, I wouldn't mind having some sort of connector here, though. Let's just take a look at this again. So it goes up on a second level. Maybe I should get some bone block just to kind of show where I want to change the colors a little bit. How did I do this? This has got wood paneling. Somewhere there's stone. I know there's stone on these things somewhere. The bottom, I think. Yeah, okay. Right. So we might switch this up by having some stone and, and bone blocks. That could be kind of fun. Maybe we will have to go up a step. So I feel like stone out here feels a little bit strange. What is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would work if we had more wood. If we had more wood going through it, that could work. This might not be stone. We might have to switch that. And I think I want to try to do um, like a flat tower, not a round tower. Like I want to do this kind of a flat angled tower. And I guess technically this would be the floor. And if these were cool looking windows, can get some decent views. Might have to switch that around, but still, we could mess around with that a little bit. 
And then the next floor would end up being up here. But uh, this is probably where we'd want to have the roof. This is where there's a lot of flying back and forth to see what this looks like. Oh, there's two more villagers in with the horse. Cool. Yeah, I feel like a roof on top of that is still not going to compete too much with that. So we should be okay. And so in our, in the nice build that I've got in the top left hand corner, it's that there's no tower to it. So I don't think I'm going to do a tower on this side. Maybe we'll just do a gable on this because that provides us with an opportunity to do some different stuff. Maybe we'll put some dormers in it for decoration. So stuff like that. And the gable would be probably the end. Because you'd want the dormers to be able to face in and out. So again, we're at one, two, three. Could start low. It's probably better to start low. What's the pattern? Block stair, block stair. Oops. I think that's the middle. I don't think I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do a mosaic. I was looking online at some parade squares, and a lot of them are just like kind of squarish um, patterns. So it might not be a mosaic. I definitely want to do something different with the with the parade square. So that either needs to be shorter or taller. I don't want it to be tangent with the build behind it. But we'll have to do the other peak to see. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not right. And I don't know what we're going to do here, so I'm just going to put up some temporary, temporary blocks. Slab. Let's 
stair, backward stair, block. So that has to come in one, two, three, four. I guess that's the middle. Nope, one more. And then this should be the middle. This should be taller than the keep. This might be too much. We might have to reduce the, uh, the height of this. It's really tall. <laughs> Roofs in this game, man, they get out of hand in a heartbeat. Jackson Dynamite, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. I'm doing well, thank you. You mentioned the road leading to the town earlier. Do you have any idea what kind of block combo you might want to go for? Uh, mostly coarse dirt um, and probably with some moss and stuff. We might look at um, the path behind the church, I think, looked really good. I think. Hold on. I can't remember whether the church had path block. I think I removed the path block. Yeah, this kind of thing, I think, would look good for the road. You know, a little bit of wood, a little bit of concrete. Nice edges with the moss carpet and stuff. I think that would look good for the road out here. And then we can taper it into, like, a more finished street and stuff if we need to. Wow, that's tall. I mean, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. There's a road planned here with this cobblestone. That's why I keep on walking along it. So at least it completely hides the stuff behind it. It's not running tangent to anything. Plus there'll be a dip here. So without anything here, you'll be able to see the keep in between the small build here. So yeah, that could be kind of cool. I need some more dark oak. Let's just grab the whole box. And we'll bring you Delicious donut. What's uncanny about it? You just, you like it? It's good? Bad? The roof designs? Maybe you should do that in the middle. So that is not the middle of the courtyard. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
Another break when you're ready, says Cosmic. Cool, thanks. I uh, will get there. I think I want to try to finish this roof. Oh, first I don't want to lose scaffolding that explodes everywhere. I'm going to try to see if this roof is going to be the way that I want it to be. So we could reduce it by one if we wanted to. We could take it down a little bit. Um, I might also want to have, like these are a very, uh, this is, there's an exa example of what I've got going on. It's a very steady angle and I might want to have more of a dip to this particular one. And so we might, um, we might give it more of a flare at the bottom. Oh, I've also started in the wrong position. I've definitely made some screw ups there. Yeah, I started too high. It looks good from down here though. Like it's not, it doesn't, even though it's right next to you and it is tall, it doesn't feel bigger than this because you can see how far away that is and see the different layers to this. So I like that it's not that. I think we might be able to get away with um, more of a slope here and have it go steeper. That could have it be, look a little bit less, less imposing. Um, we'll just check the, uh... oh, come on. I don't mind the higher, the higher end. But no, I think we'll end up going with something like this. We might end up making it just a little bit like a block shorter. That could be just enough. We've got enough room to make it the block shorter if we so want to. So it should be fine. Cool. Uh, well, as Cosmic has instructed, it is time for another break. If you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour, step away for five or six minutes, usually run an ad and uh, reheat my coffee, grab a snack. You should too. And we'll be back in, like I said, about five, five to seven minutes.
Are you ready to take your content to the next level? Upbeat Premium gives you unlimited access to...
Okay, let's take a look at the other side of this thing. Try to balance out this large, large roof with something else on the side, like a tower maybe. I like the look of that little white tower on the bottom right. So maybe we'll go up two levels on this side. So one, two, three, four. So we'll go up eight. And then go out. That's still going to make this like a 7x7 seven seven on the top here. It's just, it's funny how, how wide things get in Minecraft so quickly. Zorbo42 with the Prime subscription. Thanks ever so much. Hope you're having a good day. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts as well because you can join us in the Discord. Maybe three. I'm just going to throw these in here for good measure. And they're easy to break. And then from here, we could do. I guess I really just need some, some spare blocks. Let's get some more stone over here. So yeah, three or four, I think, on that top bit should be okay. Because then in here, go like this. One, two, three, four. That's the middle. Yeah. And then the roof for this part, I just want to make like a total slant. It'll be this kind of a thing here. Actually, I should do this from the middle, shouldn't I? I should use dirt or grass. So that would be the height of the other part. Uh, SW Navajas? I'm good, thank you. So that either has to be shorter or taller. One of the two. More than likely we'll make the roof taller. We might make the roof more like a more like this shape. Yep. 
yeah, I think the roof has to go up, up higher. Um, however, that means that this also has a unique shape because this is only a five by five. Uh, is it five by five or seven? One, two, three, four, five. Five by five. And that means that we have to figure out what's going to happen in this area because this still comes out at least to here, if not farther. So this is going to be too small. I think we decided that this was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will just remove all of this confusing stuff here. So do we want this to go here or do we want it to get wider? Probably want it to get wider. To about this level. And I guess we could create like a little little space for someone to stand on. That could be kind of cool. Something to look out here. Then we've got to worry about the rest of this building too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's only seven on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But it turns out that they're not square. I guess the top of this might be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I feel like this is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So that somehow ended up being square. Oops. Right, because then we could have like a platform there that can connect to things. And we could either make this inside or push it to be outside. Probably going to be outside. Be my guess. The diorite's not something we're building with. The diorite is just easy to see on the map. It is a pretty cool view. Um, yeah, it's nice to kind of give an, like an extra special place for the view, I think, as well. All right, so we decided that these are not going to be straight. So let's push the height of this a little bit.
see if that looks good. Yeah, with the map mod, it's just easier to see diorite. So I've used it to lay out like foundations. Um, we've built everything up over here, but for a while, this whole main street was just like diorite foundations. It's just really easy to see. Any plans to terraform or build things on the other side of the wall? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's a little bit of work done on the other side here. Hold on. So there's a little bit of like, you know, making it look like it's part of the landscape over here. Not much. Um, and we've done a little bit more over there too, right? So I want to add a little bit, but not a lot of, of stuff like this along the base, which I think makes it look really good. Uh, it's very plain over here because I wasn't happy with it. So I, I knew that this was a good, eventually going to change. Um, so, but I mean, st stuff like this is going to change, but this area here is definitely going to be moving around a little bit. Um, so we'll probably do that. And then here, I don't even know what this is. I've got no clue who built that. Um, but yeah, there's, um, there's an idea here that we could, um, there's going to be a road here. You don't want anything built up too much in front of this because the idea is that you want a nice flat surface for the, the wall to protect and, and see. Um, but I think out here at this crossroads, we're probably going to put something like an inn here. Um, there's a cool pond here that we might keep and create as part of the grounds for the inn, that kind of thing. And I think I like the height of that tower better too. Got a siren going by outside my place. <laughs> and, and the neighbor's dog is also howling. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Oops. This is where I did triple. My cousin's dog mimics the ambulances. Yeah, I've, I've seen a number of dogs do that. Yeah, from down here, that doesn't look too crazy, right? It feels huge when you're standing on top of it, but that doesn't look too out of sorts. And it creates a nice layered effect here where it's much taller than the building next to it. So I like that. That's good. Uh, I guess we should double check the inside of this just to make sure. Um, we'll probably have an entrance here. We'll probably fix all this up later. So it's going to have at least another floor. Usually these are just stairs and planks. And that's why I choose um, Three, like three and four to be my my levels because when you get up three nice even situation although it looks like we need to be up one more it's unfortunate I, I guess we could go here Kind of put you out onto the outside bit here. Uh, 
That doesn't work with this though. So we might want to start stairs just a little bit earlier. So that we have more of a platform here. And I don't know how to do that. I generally don't like turning like right on a block and doing stairs because I find it tricky to get on them. Here at least you can kind of gameplay your way up. We could put the stair in the door over here. Feels weird that there wouldn't be anything there though. But that does put us on a level up here. Obviously we can't have that there though. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay. So we might have to rethink the way that that stair goes. Because I would like to have some depth here and be able to at least walk across on this. Uh, Tarsiris says, is there anyone else building in the area? Is it just you? Um, Megan was building in the area, but, um, I need to talk to her about maybe removing that because she hasn't played on the server in well over a year. Um, but it's been mostly me. The idea was to have other people come and play, but it just seems like, um, it ends up being my build in this particular area, but the entire medieval fantasy zone is quite large. Um, this is only a fraction of the area so there's like a village over here and there's like ice mountains over there and stuff like that so there's lots of opportunities to do, do cool stuff but i would say what you see right now on the map probably from about here like this circle here is about i would say something that i'm considering my my kind of build area i've just been at it so long on my own that it, it just kind of feels like mine you know Zenthane X, resubscribe with Prime for seven months in a row. Thanks so much, Zenthane. Great to see you. Hope you're having a good weekend. So I think that's working for this right now. I think it's a little bit of a long way around. So we might be able to get away with this by changing the door to here and lowering the stairs. And then this way we won't hit our heads and we'll probably come out at the right level. Be a little bit easier that way. Let's try that. I like to try and make sure that things are making sense inside and outside before I get into really detailing the build because worst worst thing is when you've got something that looks really good but you gotta move it. it drives me nuts. Also good to know that we have a giant hole down here. <laughs> I forgot about this. Uh, let's um we're gonna have to go get some more dirt. The roof is far from done. I wouldn't worry about how pointy it is right now. Surprise basement. Oh, I, I, I know it's there. I just forget how close we are in terms of how, how few blocks we have between us and a, a decent fall, you know? 
because we had to build this hill up considerably to put everything in here. So I wonder how this is feeling as far as scale goes. Yeah, it's still not going to be quite as big as the as the keep. I think that's going to feel okay. So if we forget this and we start with something that was more like this, I should really be doing this with spruce because I'm probably gonna have to redo it. I doubt that I'm going to be using dark oak, although we don't do a lot of interiors with dark oak. So I don't know, maybe this is an opportunity to um, do this right. Okay, so then that goes there. This goes here. That goes there. And then we run into the same issue with bonking our heads. So now here we can probably spin it off in two different directions. Nope. From here we can. That's okay with me. Maybe we just do the same thing. Just have it work off in different directions. That could work. These are wrong. Might have to push this out by one. Or maybe it gets pushed out the other way. Either way, I think lowering that did make this feel a little bit better. Plus it would be nice to have like a little spot here, you know? This might end up getting much larger. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. I'm glad you like it. It's fun to ten, kind of take like three or four different pieces of concept art and kind of like mash stuff together, stuff that you like. Try and make it feel a little bit, you know, a little bit more unique. So one thing I want to try uh, is adjusting the roof on this side here. Because we started at the right height, but I feel like we want to make it a little bit more of a slope. And, oops, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this scaffolding into here and that way we can attach it to different places. Right, so this, instead of going there, we want this to be That's not going to work. Oh, 
Well, I mean, I guess could. We just have to sacrifice that. Make screw gun. Where are you when you need you? Let's bring that down. I like what I did with the, the top three on this side. So we'll do that over here. That goes to there. That goes to there. Then we'll do one this way, that way, and then here. So maybe this does stay like this. You know, this kind of goes out and down, and this kind of has more of like a swoop. Although I'm not sure I like the bottom. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about the bottom. Yeah, I've been collecting a bunch of stuff on on um, my Pinterest page, um, which is public. I mean, you can see it. Uh, the other thing is um, art station. You look for environment concept art or medieval fantasy concept art. You'll get some really cool stuff on art station. Just be aware that art station can sometimes have um, not safe for work content. It's not lewd or anything, but it's a bunch of artists pay posting their paintings, and sometimes there might be you know, figure drawing and other stuff involved. Like you might see a really cool picture of a medieval castle, but there might be like, you know, a person on a horse in the front of it and the person on the horse, depending on what they're wearing, it might not be safe for work. So just be careful when you're going to art station. It's all really good work. Like most of art station is, is really good stuff. At least the stuff that comes to the top, when you search on art station and use like the trending or the highly voted, you know, or highly liked images, they're usually well done. Uh, maybe we need to come down another block here. I find it annoying that you can't, um, easily do, like, come out with scaffolding like this from an existing block. Okay, that goes there. And then this should work. Yeah. I think I like that more. Plus it gives us a nice flat area here to do um to do like dormers and stuff. I think I like that. Plus it shows off more of the tower. Might be a little bit on the flat side. Could try extending it by one and seeing. Which I think that's what I just had, but I can't remember. kind of stuck at this scale uh i think i like that better let's fill in the the edge of it and 
see if that looks better. More slabs required. Okay, so then we'll flip this. This is right. No, that's wrong. Do this on this side here. So then this goes that way. The only thing I find such a pain in the butt about these roofs is like once you've got them started, they take a really long time to climb up because things start to not line up. You can't, you can't make the jump unless you've got a double jump beacon somewhere. And then that is correct. Okay. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. That's nice. Dalamandum, hello. Welcome in. Yeah, I like the shape of that. Now, obviously, we can put something in here because this is a big, big area of just dark oak. Uh, so we can add in like other textures. We've got uh, like stripped dark oak. We've got uh, dormers like that. Actually, I like the ones that we made over here. I think these look really good. So we might do something like that on the, the top level. So at this stage, before I start getting into too many details on the roof, and making other decisions. I wanna make sure that the inside of this building is also gonna work out as far as the stairs go. And I wanna make sure that adding these other buildings around the square is also something that's gonna work out too, the way that we want. Um, so in here, we can kind of like add some extra floor and think about, I quite like this being in the middle for it that's not the middle oh we should fix this side That's all right. We'll put a little bit of dirt in here. So it's two of these.
Switch that out. And then I think we're going down in two. Right, and then that's a square. That's not right. And then this is lower. I block. I knew they were going to fall all the way down there. Well, thanks. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you like it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that creates a more of a unique shape, I think. Uh, and then, so now we know this section here comes down one, two, three. That's on three and a half. That's a double. You could still put the door there. I feel like I might have. Oh, that's too far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten. Aha. I knew something was bugging me. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's because. We didn't add in the depth. And that's fine. I'm okay with stuff being asymmetrical because then then we don't have the doors like lining up right across from one another. We've got like a door there. We might even have another door here. I kind of like the fact that this sticks out a bit. So maybe we have something like this here. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So we might have to push this out. And I'm fine with this not being um flat. Like this part here can become like be pushed out more if we want it to. Which might be might be advantageous. Cosmic alarm clock, five minute warning. Thank you, Cosmic. Yes. I've got a family dinner tonight, so I gotta go pretty much right at four o'clock. So give myself time to relax between now and dinner time. Um so this is working sort of. I'd much rather come up here, but don't think we really can do that. Have it look good. Uh now inside here, I want to make sure that we've got enough room to get up to this floor. And I feel like if we start stairs right here, we should be able to do that. Maybe not. We have to have a landing. So that's not the end of the world. So that still doesn't get us up. Well, it gets us up to the right window level. 
This is still going to have to be some sort of like staircase up somehow. And that's still too low. And I don't know, I guess we can go up another flight. We could have more stairs here. If we wanted to. Because the wall is like out here. And that's the gable, so there probably wouldn't be much for windows there. I mean, we could put one in. Oh, <laughs> my screw gun. <laughs> Currently, it's three minutes to four. I'm in the Atlantic time zone, so UTC minus four for anybody that wants to set their time difference. I try to post in Discord with um, Hammer Time, which is a coded time code that usually gives times that I put in in your local time as it displays in Discord, which is very cool. Um, yeah, I'm an hour. I'm an hour ahead of New York. So if you look at Eastern time in the U.S., I'm, a, I'm an hour ahead of, of New York. We stick out pretty far in the Atlantic Ocean here. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'd rather... I think I'd rather have the stairs go back up around. So we could have an opportunity to have windows here. And I don't want a staircase getting in that way. So the other staircase might actually be something we have to put like on this side of the building going this way. To get up into this here, because then we could have like, there's enough room in here to have like dormers and like have a separate room. So I think that might be the way to go. But I'm happy with the way that it's coming together. Uh, if we back up a bit here. It's added quite a lot to this, this section. Um, we're going to have to beef up the wall, of course, so that it doesn't look like it's overhanging too much. But previously, this was all just flat and very heavy on the stone. So I feel like uh, having that there, I mean, it's getting a little bit big. I want to be careful we don't get too much bone block in it because I don't want it to pull away from the main the main gate. Um, but it looks like it matches even just with like those little bone block trims that I've got. It looks like it matches and it's almost like a reversed smaller version of this. You can see where we're going to have to extend probably see it on the map too. Right. So the wall is probably going to have to curve and come in here more straight. And then I, we might end up adding more on here, like another low building just so this is less of a deep cut and more of a straight angle like i wouldn't mind doing this at like a 45 or something because we've done that here and that looks cool like this is a cool looking little wall so another 45 degree wall somewhere wouldn't be the end of the world sort of like right there but you can see how gray like with with the the battlement for the keep, the top of the gate, the wall, the towers, a lot of gray stuff, and there was a lot of gray here along the edge. And so um, having this to break it up, I think is working quite well. Yeah, fun times. We might end up leaving this as a ledge. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. But this is kind of my approach to um, to adding new builds and new new buildings to the area. Is that I know, like I know I want something to go here, but I didn't know what, and I knew what was going to go here was going to be more important. So grabbing a bunch of build reference, you know, getting some things that you like, kind of pulling different areas and different designs, 
into the into the build. Uh, I like the little courtyard in there. I like the little archway. Um, we might have to build things out. These are going to be low. I think the roofs on these are just going to be like right down here, uh, similar to like that, that kind of thing, like low, low roofs, um, just to kind of build something up. We might even have like an alleyway there. They don't have to connect. Um, I like the idea that this one connects to the wall. So we might leave this as a connection here. I don't know. Um, but the purpose of these two granite blocks are just placeholders because the view from down here they frame it in nicely. And if we keep this low, then it doesn't interfere with, with this, right? So I think that's probably what it is. Like the, the roof line here is probably gonna stay at like this level. And then same thing here, it's probably only gonna be like just right here. And with all this brown, having a gable go this way and seeing the end of it, just like we're seeing the end of, of this house here, right? Like this kind of a thing, we might, we might have a nice splash of color here. So it'll all work out. Um, if you haven't already, please leave a follow here on the channel. I stream three days a week, pretty much guaranteed. Uh, I'm trying to add in some extra streams and the more people that uh, can support on the channel that can share the channel and get the viewership up, then the more I can, I can stream. So, uh, right now it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's the schedule. Um, Saturday, Sunday is at one o'clock Atlantic. Uh, Friday is at four o'clock Atlantic. Uh, those are all UTC minus four. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. It's all Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. Uh, joelduggan.com links to my podcasts, the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Sizzle Cafe podcast. The Spawn Chunks is all about Minecraft and the Sizzle Cafe is all about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. We missed last week, so I did a bonus stream from the modded Minecraft server, or not server, but the playthrough. Uh, and uh, this week coming, I'm hoping to find a guest for the Citadel Cafe because I watched a couple things I wanted to talk about. And uh, we hope to have a guest tomorrow on the Spawn Chunks. Uh, Slice Lime is going to come by and talk to us on that show, which is going to be fantastic. Because, of course, he's the tech lead for Minecraft at Mojang and uh, uh, has become kind of like an online friend of Johnny and, and mine. Uh, we raid each other quite a bit, which is fun. Uh, you can, of course, just check out all the things on joelduggan.com. It's one of the best ways to keep track of what I'm doing online. And uh, if you want to support Patreon.com is a great way to go, as well as, of course, Twitch Prime Gaming subs and Twitch Tier 1. Thank you to everybody that's subbed today and this weekend. Uh, big thanks to Cosmic and Hunter for, for modding. Uh, Y'all are amazing. And uh, and thanks again for the support, Cosmic and everybody else. It's just been fantastic this weekend. Y'all are the reason I get to stream as often as I do. So if you want more stuff, if you want more streaming, then bring a friend. Bring them in. Introduce them to the stream. Uh, everything is on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, so you can get a good taste for uh, the, the length of this project. The entire project, this town, is on YouTube. There are no cuts. It's all uh, unedited stream VODs, so you can check it all out at your leisure. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. <laughs>